gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the junior middleweight division. Your referee is Benji Estevez. Judges scoring this contest, John Potteray, Steve Weisfeld, and Al DeVito. Introducing now the principals. First in the red corner, wearing black trunks trimmed in red, he weighs in at 154 pounds even. His record, 11 wins, only one loss. One draw, five big knockouts. Here he is from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Ron Hammonds. Hammonds. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner is wearing black trunks trimmed in silver. He weighs in at 156 pounds. Professional record, 10 wins without a loss, eight big knockouts. Here from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., is Ruben Bell. Bell, eight rounds of boxing, referee Benji Estevez. Okay, man, three things. Clean break, obey my commands at all times, and protect yourself at all times. Touch up, good luck to both of you. Touch up, let's go. Good-looking 21-year-old Reuben Bell out of the Washington, D.C. area. He has had 10 professional fights. He has won them all, eight of them, by knockout. He turned pro last November. This is his 11th fight in 13 months, so he is getting into it in a hurry. And he goes up against the 28-year-old Ron Hammonds out of Philadelphia, who comes in with only one loss in his 13 fights. But Ronnie Hammonds, who was a welterweight, and then when he lost uh, to Tony Montgomery, his lone defeat, stayed out of the game for three years. He has now come back as a junior middle. He's won his two fights back. He was a promising young prospect from the Philadelphia area. We had seen him many times at the Blue Horizon, and uh, now he is back in the game. He was having some personal problems recently. He says, I've got those straightened out now. My career is on track, and I'm ready to go back to work. All right, yeah. And he goes back to work in this first round. Ruben Bell is an aggressive, strong type fighter. He walks right in and starts throwing his bombs. He is on the left of your screen now. Ron Hammonds describes himself more as a boxer puncher and he likes it when the opponent runs after him. There's a good left hook from Hammonds. Well, Hammonds will be getting that all night. He tries a big right hand. Bell at 5'6", 156. Hammonds at 5'9", 154. But he has a three-inch reach advantage. And uh, bringing Bell over to his corner now is the referee, Benji Estevez. Tiny. That jab. Ruben Bell has his mouth open, and that's why that mouthpiece keeps coming out. Hammonds says his best punch is the left hook. And he has been cracking Bell. He's been ringing Ruben's bell with it. Great name for a fighter, Ruben Bell. Well, so far, he has always answered the bell. Although, you take a look at his last couple of uh, fights, KOs, against Tyrone Hayward, who was 4-13 and 13 coming into the fight, and against Linnell Stroman, who was 9-21. and 21. He certainly takes a big step up against a guy like Hammonds. Hammonds, uh, once considered a top prospect, and you take a look at some of the guys he has fought in the second pro fight, a four-round draw against the current IBF junior welterweight champion, Jake the Snake Rodriguez. He scored a notable win over then undefeated Keith Holmes. And the only time he was beaten was uh, by uh, Frank Montgomery. Yeah, in a fight back in 1991, Ron Hammond says it was a big turning point in his career. He said he lost the fight, yes, but he really gained experience from that fight. He said he was overconfident, he did not train. He says it made me a better fighter. Which he is now applying three years later. Yeah, he did, he did, he retired after the fight. Yeah, three years later and only two fights since. Yeah. He did retire, but you know, in your, in your retirement, you have time to think about what it is that you did wrong in your career. He yeah. thought about that loss to Frank Montgomery. Oh, man, and Hammonds catches Bell coming in and saying, well, watch out for that headbutt. And now Hammonds uh, takes a couple of shots as the bell sounds to end the first round.
action. Undefeated Ruben Bell in the black trunks with the white or silver lining. 10-0 with eight knockouts. But uh, does not carry as much experience into the ring as does Ron Hammonds. Comes in at 11-1-1. And, and also some work now done over the eyebrow. Hammonds uh, claiming the headbutt in the closing seconds of round number one. Yeah, you can see some of the cut medicine, the coagulation medicine left on the eye of Ron Hammonds. He was complaining at the end of that first round of a headbutt to his right eyelid. And Hammonds has really upped the uh, tempo here in the second. Yeah, really crisp with his punches, Ron Hammonds. Ruben Bell just a step behind him. Ruben should pick it up just a bell, just a ring. Pick it up so he punches a little bit faster, a little bit shorter. Don't try to knock your opponent out with every punch, although that is the way Ruben Bell fights. Take some of the power off of the speed. Hammonds has faced the tougher opponents. He also, uh, since he has come back, has been sparring with some tough guys in the Philly gyms. Tony Martin, Vince Angelini. And again, the mouthpiece coming out from Ruben Bell. Remember the last round, that mouthpiece came out from Bell. As you can see, he is color-coordinated. Mouthpiece and gloves. Very yeah. fashionable of Ruben Bell. Yeah, and, and one of the, the great discoveries in boxing, developments in boxing, has been that mouthpiece. It used to be white, and it would really show up if you were bleeding on the mouth. Now it's black. Or, in the Bell's case, a red. Here's the time remaining in the second. This is scheduled for eight rounds. Well, eight knockouts, of which five of them had jumped in the first round. Oh, Bell takes another right hand from Hammonds. Hammonds is just hoping that the youngster, who's trying to gain as much experience every fight, just runs right into uh, one of Hammonds' rights. Yeah, here's a look at the danger of going downstairs to the body. See Bell trying to hit the body, and he's leaving his head open. When you go down to that body, it's a dangerous thing to do. You have to bend your body down to go downstairs, not drop your hands like Ruben is doing. They're bending over with his waist with Ruben Bell. Hammond is doing is he waiting for Bell to drop those hands to get into his body and then he scores. Hammond is doing a shot tonight, really crisp. He says that he's more focused now, more serious about his boxing career, more dedicated Ron Hammonds. I had thought that we would see the spring rust from him. Ron Hammonds. Only one fight in the last year. Only two fights in the last two years. from Philadelphia who comes in with an impressive record of 11-1-1 five of those wins by knockout and uh, in the black trunks with the gray Ruben Bell the 21 year old out of Washington D.C. has never lost a professional fight he's won 10 of them 8 of them by knockout and he puts some punches together against Hammonds who has to hold on yeah, when you have somebody like Bell who is a pure slugger, this is where sometimes is a disadvantage because when you have a 
fighter that's been hit a couple of times like Bell has in the first couple of rounds, he gets a little bit befuddled. He wants to run in. He remembers those heavy punches he was taking in the first two rounds. Big left hook in the first round that wobbled Bell and rung his bell, and then in the second round, an overhand right. Adams was out three years, retired uh, after 11 fights as a junior welterweight, comes back now, or as a welterweight, comes back now at 154 pounds, a junior middleweight. He's had a couple of fights, one in December, and then one in March against the same fighter, Tyrone Hayward, who is uh, quite a few fights under the 500 mark. Uh, what do you think Ronnie Hammonds sees in Ruben Bell as, a, as an opponent? Uh, Hammonds in a position where he's just coming back, hadn't fought for three years, has to be somewhat selective in the opponents uh, he chooses. Yeah, and coming into this fight, he was excited to be fighting Ruben Bell. He said he's going to be perfect for me because he's aggressive. Ron Hammonds likes to fight those fighters where he can use his jab, where he can dictate the pace, when he can use his experience. He has only five knockouts in his 11 wins, and tonight he is learning more about delivering what he now possesses in his power. And also shake off the ring rust. In, in a fight like this where you've been off for a long period of time, you want to get out and you want to play. You yep. want to shake it off. Well, and you know what? He's shaking off the punches. When you play with long, hard shots like he was throwing, you snap it right on the end. You twist it right at the end at the point of impact. And Ruben Bell is making it work. Ronnie Hammonds wants to take it to the later rounds. Bell with eight knockouts. Only two of those have come, though, after the third round. Those two have come in the fourth. Yeah, you know, I do see him altering his power in the first couple of rounds of this fight. When, whenever Ruben Bell went out in that first round, he was forcing the punches. Now he's taking some of the power off of it to get the speed. Rowan Cooley, Al Fennell, the, working on Ron Hammonds. See Al Gavin over there, too. Chinaman, this guy is getting tired. Do you know how he's punching now? Mm -hmm. He's getting tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's getting, he's getting tired, man. This guy is getting tired. Okay? Yeah, don't get panicked. Don't, don't get, get the hell. Okay, in. okay, please, okay? Keep right. your feet yeah. right, man, at all times. And you just double up on your jab. Three I'm times on your jab. Double up, come back with three jabs right quick. Right. Over top with your right hand. Understand? Mm -hmm. Understand? How you feel, son? Huh? <laughs> Good. All right, that's all. Don't get clumsy, okay? All right, buddy. Ron Hammonds yeah. taking it all in calmly with tremendous poise. And now comes out for round number four and walking in to meet him in the middle of the ring, Ruben Bell, the undefeated 21-year-old from Washington, D.C. It's D.C. versus Philly in this fight tonight. Ruben Bell comes in kind of lazily there to start things off. Now throwing those combinations. Hammond's trying to work inside of those shots. And Ruben Bell, so much for being uh, starting it off lazily. A lot of punches in the opening 30 seconds for Bell. Yeah, trying to get into the rhythm, too. Just putting the punches out there. You have to a lot of times when you're trying to knock somebody, knock somebody out. You have to go out there and hit them and get them used to getting hit before you lower the boom. And it got by in the fourth. And trying to work inside now is Hammonds. Impressive records on the board. One loss combined in... 23 fights. Yeah, a couple of young fighters. You're right in Ron Hammonds. He is standing more toe-to-toe -to -toe this round. What do you think he, he saw the first three rounds that tells him to do this here in the fourth? Oh, yeah, I think he saw exactly what we saw in that you had mentioned the early knockouts of Ruben Bell and about how he 
loses power as the fight goes on. And he knew, Ron Hammonds told me today, I had to be careful early. The man obviously hits hard in that opening round. And, you know, Hammonds has five knockouts, and four of those have come after. Fourth round and after. And, you know, he has crisp punches. They're very sharp. This is uh, some of his rededication to the sport of boxing. Learning to execute those punches and getting in condition to be able to carry out the execution. Well, he thought he had the uppercut that might end it right there. One of the signs you're looking for in the Ruben Bell that tells you that he is uh, getting a little fatigued. Yeah, look at the arms. Look where his hands are. Where's the, the defense? You, you want to use a defense, but you, you also want to use that defense aggressively. When you are punching, you still want to keep your defense. That's why you're taught to throw. When you're throwing one punch, keep the other hand up by your face. Protect yourself. Keep your chin down. His hand's coming down, mouth open. He's still punching, but the punches don't have the effect they had in the first round. And he's coming in for a while. Hammond's trying to catch him on the way in. So Hammond says Ruben Bell now, right where he wants him. Four rounds down and four rounds to go. down four to go between undefeated Ruben Bell, 10-0, and, and 11-1-1 Ronnie Hammonds. As they move in to round number five, Hammonds playing a little bit. As you can see the work they try to do on his eyebrow in between rounds. He's uh, bothered by it. Now just has to... Yeah, that Avertine, the longer you leave that Avertine on a cut, the more good it does. And all, a lot of these what we're going to try to do is to leave that up there while you start the, the first part of the round. Have it be good while you're starting the round. And you, you'll wipe it off. It follows you. It tickles a little bit. Keep the punches up. So well, that's not tickling yeah. Ruben Bell. Ron Hammonds, his best shots of the night. He's opening it up a little more as we begin round number five. Trying to tire out the 21-year-old Ruben Bell, who very rarely gets past the fourth round. It's because he's basically ended his fights before this time. Eight knockouts in his ten victories, and most of them early. Only uh, two have come. As late as the fourth round, and he is beyond that now. So Hammonds are using the experience. He turned pro in 1988. Built up a very good record as a welterweight. Nine wins, one loss with a draw, and retired for three years, and now has come back as a middleweight. He's had a couple of six-round victories. Now steps up against undefeated Ruben Bell. Ruben Ron Hammond says that he learned how to fight in the gyms of Philadelphia. He says those are much tougher fights than what actually take, takes place yeah. in the ring. And that's, where, that's where you take your beating every day is in that gym, day in, day out. That is the work of boxing. This is play. This is fun. The night of the fight. The work is in the gym. We're reaping the benefits now of that gym work. In Philadelphia, those gyms, they have more every day. That was terrific. This terrific fight for Ruben Bell. You know? One ten in a row. Where, where do I stand now? now? Gauging, gauging me. Yeah. You see where I am. And get in some rounds against a PG opponent. Last two guys that Bell has knocked out. One had a record of 4-13, and 13, the other 9-21. and 20. Oh! Oh. Evans out of nowhere. Goes down in the fifth. He cannot be saved by the Bell. And he's now upset himself. That's what he thought, too, out of nowhere. All of a 
sudden you wake up on the canvas wondering what happened. Good overhand right from Reuben Bell rang Hammond's bell. Hammond better get that right hand and that left hand up to protect his face. Reuben Bell now looking for the KOs, trying to bring in the power. Final seconds. Very patient Bell. He's just uh, standing back, taking his shots. So Reuben Bell with a big knockout ratio explodes late in the fifth Stop round and a different Ron Hammond's yeah. listening to some I new told you instructions to I told you to watch this I told you to watch out for Ron how you feeling good take a look over here for a second look at me you want to continue you want to keep going you're fine right I just can't say that okay great yeah. Straight back, going straight back. Get the head back. Right. That's the main thing that's going to look out for. That's the reaction of a Philadelphia veteran when the doctor asks, do you want to continue? Yeah, here it is. Walking in, carrying the left hand a little bit low. That left hook is the punch yeah. that did it. Ron Hammond ran into that left hook, watching lean over to his right side and crack. Big power puncher, hitter, hooking... Ruben Bell. That rung his bell. A little delayed reaction, but it was the, the left hook and not the right. The right just kind of helped him down. Helped him over. You see that so much, a delayed reaction. A fighter will get knocked out, and then he, he takes a step or two before he falls over. You lose your balance. You lose your, your movement in one of your legs. Sometimes you shift weight, and then and then the ring comes up and meets your face. Yeah. Real quick. Where did that come from? There's a left hook by Hammonds. Well, as Hammonds uh, told the doctor, I feel great. So he moves into the sixth round, and he is right now moving aggressively towards Ruben Bell. And that's just it. You feel great. It doesn't hurt to get knocked out or to get stunned. There's no pain to it. Just so your body doesn't hurt. <laughs> it hurts to get hit in the body. But it, when you get hit in the head, you just go to sleep. Or you go goofy. And look at the mouth of Ron Hammonds now. When you are taking big punches, if you keep your mouth locked, your jaw shut, you can take a, a better punch. When your mouth is open like that, it's easier for you to get knocked out. And Ruben Bell showing you uh, his defensive moves, and he seems to have uh, won a second win, and also a second win of confidence. Yeah, and a different style for Bell. Now, he is the one taking that step back, resetting and unloading. He's allowing for Ron Hammond to run into everything that he's throwing. Ron Hammond's wanting to come into this fight and dictate the pace, but he is rushing in. Now, all of a sudden, it's Bell, who looks uh, very patient, and the Hammonds looks to be fatigued. Yeah, Hammonds got, has to get the control back that he lost in the last round. Inside a minute to go in the sixth. There's that jab. Now that is trying to get the control back in this fight. He is doing the same thing that Ruben Bell was doing in his first four rounds. Coming in. Exactly. Running into the punches out of desperation. Trying to finish the fight. He's trying to tighten it up inside, but the belt touch under those shots. Ron better keep his mouth closed. Keep the glove. The leather sandals. Those are they're not very good days to be there. What? Why do you take them? I've eaten them. <laughs> Okay. Right now it's about even round. Don't even worry about the rounds, okay? Worry about when you, when you make the decision, okay? Do what we ask, okay? Come on. Work the jab. Sharp jab, okay? Oh, okay. Seventh round. Okay. Give me that jab. Why are you dropping the left hand down to your waist? Give me that jab. Yeah. Up jab or bring the left hand back. Straight back, okay? Come on. Suck it in. He's a big chance right now. Listen, give me an up jab and then when you 
when he, when he comes in, step out and in that short chop right hand. Okay. 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 Hold. Bring it slow. Pop your jab to the body, make him bend over, try to come at you. Bring it slow. Okay. Yeah. And look for more uppercuts this time. Okay? Yeah. Hold, hold, hold. Bring it real slow. Come on, look for more uppercuts. I like you to punch that too, man. Combination. Yeah, no, no. Combination. Yeah. Short yeah. combination. Yeah. Yeah. You want to win? Bustle. Bustle. Makes me want to win. It is round number seven. Twenty-one-year-old Ruben Bell in the black trunks with the silver trim comes in undefeated at ten and zero with his eight knockouts on the ledger. He is uh, Ronnie Hammonds down, lead in the fifth round. Hammonds trying to up the tempo, trying to get a little more aggressive in the sixth. He has just one loss in thirteen fights. Twenty-eight-year-old out of Philadelphia. Stepped up a couple of weight classes, now a junior middleweight. Early career as a welterweight, and after three years out of the ring, has won a couple as a junior, as a junior bear. But uh, right now, he is in trouble. Yeah, he's having a problem with Ruben Bell. Boy, he on, on in the last round. He knocked Hammonds down in that fifth round. Hammonds, though, willing to stand in there and train. Yeah, Bell. and now fighting out of a desperation, trying to get that back. If he could get back to what he was doing in his first four rounds, Hammonds would be fine. His first four rounds, he was dictating the pace. He was allowing for Bell to run into something. Not doing that here. Well, that was a little fresher in those first four rounds. Yeah, look at the mouth of Ron. Boy, you got to keep that mouth closed. That is a dangerous thing to do. Ruben Bell has found a way to freshen himself. Looked like he was running out of gas. Yeah, very impressive showing from Bell in the last couple of rounds I'm talking about. He started off slowly. He realized that he was not having any luck with the style that he was using in those first two rounds. And he changed his style a bit. Changed his style to box his way in. He was learning something tonight. Bella's gone, forced the distance twice. In the second fight was a six-round victory. In the seventh fight, he won an eight-rounder over Willie Taylor. And now backing away as uh, Hammonds looked to be uh, wobbled a bit. And you are right there in the corner. Yeah, don't get hit. You can see everybody out there bobbing and weaving you know, as we speak. And Hammonds knew that, too, so he... He gets back into the center of the ring. 30 seconds on the nose left in the seventh in this scheduled eight rounder. You don't want anybody else to taste a leather sandwich beside these two fighters. Although, if you were watching in the kitchen, you can have that leather sandwich. A very busy Ruben Bell, 21 years of age. This is already his 11th pro fight in just 13 months as a professional uh, pugilist. Yeah, and only his second time. This will go down to the eighth round. Only his second time eight. in the fifth after it looked as if he was taking control of this fight from young Ruben Bell and since that knockdown it has been all Bell it is back to you right now Hammonds has slowed down considerably but comes out firing here in the final round yeah, 
hands up on him. It has been impressive to see Bell start off so slow and build round on round. He is taking a look at this and said, I have eight rounds to play with. I'm going to try to get a little bit better each round. And he is stinging him. Yep. Well, Hammonds now. Hammonds is flinching with every shot. Ruben Bell wants to, to stop this fight here in the eighth. Complete this with a knockout. Yeah, and it's also about perception. If, if, the, if the fight goes to the cards, this fight is about perception. And Ruben Bell is trying to give the perception that he wants to win. He's going forward with his punches. He is the one forcing the action. He's, he's hurting Ron Hammonds. He's got Hammonds backing up. And he, he seems to have plenty of punches left. Is another score. And in the eighth round, or in the last round of a fight, you're really not too concerned about what's on the point. You just want to put them in there. Put as many points on the, on the ledger as you can on your opponent's face. Hammond sneaks in there with a the right hand and another one. Yeah, Hammond has good power. Just appears to be out of gas. It's uh, pretty tough to wrap up that first round. Coming down to one minute left in the fight, and uh, Ruben Bell, during his Wayne McCullough impression, just uh, punches in bunches. Yeah, very good. Good overhand right from Hammonds, but Hammonds just throwing the single shots. Looking at the hell they get it. Hammonds again with a left, and uh, Ruben Bell continues to advance, uh, showing pretty good chin. Hammond's working the crowd. He's working the, the corner of Bell, too. He raises his hands. Inside the final 30 of the fight. It appears that Ruben Bell will uh, take this out swinging. And so does Hammond's. Eight seconds left. That was four rounds from Ron Hammond all over Ruben Bell. Bell knocked Hammond's down that fifth, and then Ruben Bell came on strong. Did he steal this fight? Well, you got your money's worth as far as punches are concerned. Ruben Bell at 10-0 puts that undefeated record on the line against a, a veteran Philadelphia fighter at Ron Hammond's. Bell feels pretty good after the fifth round knockdown of Hammonds and the way he came on late in the fight, now uh, Hammonds who ran out of gas in the late rounds, tries to work the crowd and the judges, but this is the only knockdown of the fight. And this could be the deciding factor in the scoring of this match. The left hook did the damage, the right hand just pushed Ron Hammonds over to the canvas. He was going that way but that left hook Ready for a decision. Let's go up to Jimmy Moran. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges, and it is unanimous. Judge Steve Weisfeld has it 77-74. Judge John Pottere, 76-75. And Judge Aldevito also 77-74 for the winner and still undefeated. Right, right. Ruben Bell. Ruben Bell. That's Ruben right. Bell coming on That's strong right. down the stretch he came. That's right. to pull